These are Python's Boolean operators. And it's an interesting set because it includes the traditional and or not. It does not have the traditional XOR, which is not hard to create on your own. And it has a few others for testing if a uh, value is in a set or not in a set, or if testing the identity of two operands, whether they're the same object or if they're not the same object. So it's a little different than you might be used to in some other languages, but it's all very useful. So let's take a look at how these work. And you notice we have some variables set up here starting on line four, and then starting on line nine, we have an if else. And the condition uses these Boolean operators. So in this case, we're testing A and B, which is true and false, which the result of which will be false because for and to be satisfied, they would both have to be true. So when I save this and run it, you see expression is false. If I change this operator to or, a or B, now it'll be true because A is true, even though B is not, and that result is now true. I also have the unary not, and so if I say if not B, because B is false, the expression is now true, and likewise if I say if not A, we get the expression is false. Now we can test if Y is in X, because X is a collection, and so we have a value in Y, and we can test if that value exists in the collection by saying Y in X. And if I save this and run it, you see the expression is true. Instead of Y, if I say leaf, if leaf in X, it'll be false because we do not have a leaf in X, but we do have a tree. So if I say tree, we can see that expression is true. We can also check if Y is, x sub zero. And this is interesting because you have two literal strings, but if I test their identity, save and run this, you notice that the result is true. And this is because strings are not mutable. And so there's no reason, if you have two literal strings with exactly the same variable, there's no reason to carry around two separate objects. So it gets optimized into one object. So that result is true. They're actually exactly the same object. And we can see that if we print out their IDs. ID of Y and print ID of X sub zero. Save and run that and you see they both have exactly the same ID and they are indeed the same object. Likewise, I have is not and if I save and run that, you'll see that expression is false, but if I say x sub 1, then that expression is true because bear is not bunny. So these are the Boolean operators available in Python. <laughs>